We're going to do one more example of alkyne additions. This one is just a slight bit different because we actually get to see some new conditions that we haven't seen before. So, hooray for that. Hydrogenation. You will recall hydrogenation from previous uh, chapters as when we add H2 and a metal. I'm going to use palladium. So if you do this with an alkyne, of course, you will add, it will add once, and then it will add again, and you will end up adding four hydrogens across these two carbons, and you will end up with the alkane. alkane product. No stereo centers are here. We don't have to worry about cis or trans or any of that other stuff, right? If you do hydrogenation of an alkyne, you get two equivalents of H2 added across here, right? Two equivalents added. So that's pretty easy. This looks exactly like the ones in the previous video, right? We add things once and then we add them again. We end up adding them twice, etc., etc. Now, wouldn't it be nice, though, wouldn't it be nice if we could stop halfway through, right? We kind of talked about that with Br2 in HCl and said, well, in some cases we can stop with one equivalent. In some cases it's not a good idea. In this case, we're going to, if we alter the conditions just a little bit, we're going to be able to stop halfway through. And instead of getting the alkane product where four hydrogens get added or two equivalents of H2 get added, we're going to be able to stop after adding only a single equivalent. What we're going to do, this is called a Lindlar, this is called a Lindlar reduction. So the Lindlar reduction starts with an alkyne. You use H2 and palladium, and then you have, you use a poison basically, that makes the palladium less reactive. So there's a couple of different poisons that you can use. There is our example here. I have calcium carbonate written down. Calcium carbonate is the most common one. So when you add calcium carbonate, this compound here is what makes it a Lindlar reduction, right? Without this, you're just doing a standard hydrogenation. You'll add two equivalents, right? But this makes all the difference. So if that is present, what happens is we only add, this poisons the metal so that only one equivalent of H2 is added. So what we get out is we get one hydrogen added to each carbon, but they get added in a cis fashion, right? This is a syn addition, just like hydrogenation was in the past. So we get, we get an alkene product. That alkene product will always be Z, always the Z alkene. And it's that because we're only adding one equivalent, adding one equivalent. Okay. So, if you want an alkene as your product, you want to only add one equivalent. We talked about this in the previous video, right? First, we add one equivalent to make the alkene, and then if we want to add a second, or if we do add a second equivalent later, we get down to the alkene. In this case, with the calcium carbonate in there, CaCO3, this stops after one equivalent, and we end up with just the alkene product. Now, we only get the Z alkene with Lindlar reductions, and so, of course, the question, the obvious question is, well, what if we don't want the Z alkene? What if we want the E alkene? Can we do that? Would I ask that question if the answer was no? Right? Of course we can do that. We just have to change the conditions a little bit more. So the Lindlar reduction always gives us the Z alkene. We get the Lindlar reduction. It's the same conditions as hydrogenation. We just add the calcium carbonate poison. The other, the last way that we add um, hydrogens to alkynes is we do the dissolving metal reduction, which sounds super awesome. And it's kind of fun, like you get to use chunks of sodium, which always dissolve and fizz and whatever. 
But once again, we're starting from an alkyne. We're going to use sodium metal. So we're going to use sodium in the zero oxidation state. So sodium zero, and we're going to use ammonia, NH3. Okay. This is not sodium amide, right? NaNH2 is a very strong base, right? That is a completely different reaction. It has nothing to do with this. So watch for this zero, right? The Na0 tells you that this is a dissolving metal reduction because what you're going to do is you're going to add your sodium metal to liquid ammonia and the sodium metal will dissolve in the liquid ammonia. It will make a radical and then that radical will react with the pi bonds of the alkyne. Now we're not going to draw a mechanism for this because we just don't really care too much about that. But what we're going to get, of course, is the E alkene, where our R groups are on opposite side, or the trans alkene. So in this case, we get alkene product. We get the E alkene every time, and we only add one equivalent. So these three reactions, hydrogenation, the Lindlar reduction, and the dissolving metal reduction, all add hydrogens to alkynes, right? We all start with an alkyne, and then we add hydrogens. Depending on what you want your product to be, right, we have three different products. We have the alkane, where we've added two equivalents of hydrogen. We have the Z-alkene, or the cis-alkene, where we've added one equivalent of hydrogens in a cis fashion, where they're added on the same side. Or we get the trans alkene or the E alkene, and we add one equivalent across on opposite sides of the double bond. So those three reactions are similar, but give us very different products. And so depending on what you need in your reaction, you can use any of those, right? Now, I didn't really talk about terminal alkynes in this case, because adding hydrogens to terminal alkynes, then there's no stereochemistry whatsoever. So if you're reducing a terminal alkyne and you want to add Lindlar reduction or dissolving metal, either one will work. They'll give you the same result because there is no E or Z if you're reducing a terminal alkyne. So I'm just, we're not really going to talk about that or use that. But another set of, of addition reactions, and again, what we're seeing is that same pattern of add once to get the alkene, and then either it stops if our conditions allow it to stop, right, or it keeps going and we do it again.